Uh, we've been asked oh. by Captain Falcor to get you to say to camera new and interesting ways in a spooky voice. Okay. New and interesting ways. <laughs> <laughs> Your Mehartis, Captain Falcor here on your number one stop for Sea of Thieves new speculation in general rambling. Hey peeps, Falcor here. So I think it's about time I delve into some of the lore about the lands in the Devil's Roar. Unfortunately, the law side of things is somewhat limited. This is one of the reasons I've not done a video on the subject yet. But there is law, and law I shall give you. The Devil's Roar has always been there. It was not always in the Shroud. It shared the same climate as the other islands, and long ago the ancients used to dwell on these lands. The lands were full of vegetation and animal life, but something went wrong. Something caused them to be enveloped by the Shroud, to later be discovered by Captain Morrow. We know the ancients used to worship pretty much anything that was bigger than them. The kraken, large sea crabs, huge flying birds, snakes, and... flowers? And we also know that the ancients were a collection of different tribes. The serpent tribe, the stone tribe, and the water tribe. But there was one tribe that did not fare so well, or maybe uncovered something that they shouldn't have. The Fire Tribe. The islands in Devil's Roar are nothing more than cindered pieces of rock with a few remainders and hints of a lost civilization. But the lands were not always like this. They were once fruitful and quite possibly beautiful. Although volcanoes are one of the most destructive things on the planet, they also bring life. An unactive volcano is a natural heat source, and with heat it brings all sorts of life to settle near them. Most of the unactive volcanoes in real life are teeming with different insect, animals, and plant life. The ancients would have had an abundance of resources at their disposal, but then something went very wrong indeed. As we all know, the Shroud is an ever-evolving phenomena that swirls around the Sea of Thieves and can occasionally move and envelop lands near its borders. About 80 years ago, the Shores of Plenty was once under the Shroud and then revealed once more and in the process destroyed any signs of civilization. At some point, the ancients who lived in what we call the Devil's Roar would have started to notice the Shroud moving closer and closer to them, and it is my guessing that the Shroud's influence on the surrounding landmasses activated these dormant volcanoes. This would have caused a drastic change to all of the isles. The sky would have been filled with black smoke. The sun would no longer shine. The air would be thick, full of sulfuric gases, and the seas would have turned black with soot. The ancients began to panic and started to draw what they saw. Fauna being burnt, trees on fire, their friends and family burning. They began to do what they did best, pray to their new gods, the volcanoes the bringers of life and death. They held ceremonies to try and cool the beast, and in some cases made sacrifices to sate its thirst for life. But nothing worked. They were left with only one option, to flee. They gathered themselves on their boats and began to escape, but the volcanic activity was too much and the Shroud began to draw in closer and closer, with no exit in sight. The lands were swallowed, and remained in the Shroud for hundreds of years, slowly forming into the dried up husks of what they once were.
So that's cheerful. One thing I started to notice about a lot of these paintings was the use of skulls. At first I thought they could have some meaning in collaboration with the skeleton curse, but the skeleton curse wasn't a thing when the ancients were alive. They pretty much lived in peace, apart from one thing they feared the most, the Shroud. The Shroud brought death to whatever it touched. The map also shows skulls wherever the Shroud touches. These skulls used in the ancient paintings are signifying where the Shroud touches the lands. The tree on fire as the shroud looms behind it. The escaping crew as the shroud draws in closer to them. The shroud causing the lands to shake and reveal new minerals. The shroud is death, which makes you wonder, are we actually alive? In the most recent update you can now talk to the ferryman and thank him for his service and for saving us. His response is simply this. You think you are saved? Thanks for watching everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Just a quick word about a new merchandise range that I currently have out on TeePublic. If you want to head over there and have a look, you can be one of the very first people to own a Captain Falcor t-shirt. As always, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you really like the video, please hit that subscribe button. And hell, click the bell as well, so you're always informed of Sea of Thieves news, speculation, and other general guff that I might upload. Until next time, everybody. Happy sailing. Bye-bye.